If this time-space reality has the wherewithal to produce a desire within you, it has the wherewithal to give you the full-fledged manifested version of it. So what is required is a desire and a belief, an absolute knowing in that, you see. The thing that gets in the way is so much awareness of what is that what is dominates the vibration and keeps recreating what is. And that's the rub about everything. That's the rub about finding a mate. That's the rub about the challenge that many people have about finding a house that they want to live in or affording a house that they want to live in. In other words, so it requires a suspension of attention of what is and attention to desire in its purest form and that's why we encourage you to let it be a mood building experience rather than a thought directing experience it'd be easier to do that so if you get to the heart of what you want and why you want it and focus upon the why of it rather than upon the specifics of it you're more likely to deactivate the unwanted vibration and activate the wanted vibration. Now, we've been quibbling about the word deactivation for a long time because when you when it is important that you deactivate something, you're often looking right at that thing you want to deactivate and activating it. So, it's about focusing so completely upon what you want that the absence of what you want is no longer active in your vibration. As you, as you let your self-awareness be about your mood instead of about the wrinkles under your eyes, if you let your self-awareness be about your mood rather than the amount of money that's actually in your bank account, if you will become mood-based rather than fact-based, the facts will change.